Hello, everybody. It's Gary Stuckey with Journey News and Steve Perry News. And you probably watched the documentary tonight on Reels. Of course, talking about Journey, a voice lost and found. And, you know, there have been several Journey documentaries out there, especially lately within the last few years. A lot of them kind of one-sided, talking about Steve. We all know that. Uh, this one, not as bad. Uh, if you watched it, you probably saw the guy <laughs> from Rolling Stone was kind of critical. And uh love Jonathan, but he was kind of going into that VH1 uh, <laughs> mode, right? Just If you saw the video in the uh, tonight, you'd understand. No, nah, but, it, you know, it wasn't too bad. A uh, lot of facts in there. I mean, it's just they didn't really go into those facts. You know, they didn't go into what happened. Uh, a lot of people missing, like Herbie Herbert, didn't really talk about that. You know, that had a lot to do with, with things. Uh, here's somebody that was missing. Neil Sean was not in this documentary. You know, is that, and I, you know, I'm, I've just been thinking about that, you know, I'm just thinking about the timing, the timing of this video, this documentary, why did they want to show it right now? There's got to be a reason, you know, I'm not speculating on that. I'm just saying, why would they show this kind of similar documentary? It's been done before, you know, explaining Steve left and, all that happened, and Steve Algeri, Jeff Scott Soto, and then Arnell, which Jeff Scott Soto, that was cool for him to finally get in there in one of these documentaries and talk. You know, I really like him. He's very talented, and you know, Steve really likes him too. I mean, I think uh, he was wanting to see Journey kind of go in a different direction, maybe not have that sound uh, that Steve had kind of do a different thing, which I think would have been cool. Um, I am a Steve Perry and Journey fan. I'm, I'm like the, the kid, the product from a divorce. Your parents are Steve Perry and Journey. You love both of them, but a lot of you out there are not like that. You're one-sided. You just like Steve, which I'm, I'm you know, I got to be fair. I got to be mutual. I got to say, you know, I love both parties involved. But here's the thing. I was thinking about this now. People say, no Steve Perry, no Journey. Well, I was thinking, what if Steve was still in the band and Neil Sean wasn't in the band? Would it still be Journey? And a lot of people would say yes, but that would be wrong. <laughs> that would be hypocritical. And I'm just saying... You know, it's just something to think about. In my opinion, the best Steve ever was, he was in Journey. That's just, you know, people might think otherwise. Uh, but that's what I think. Um, the band Journey, the best they've ever been was with Steve in there. I do agree with that, you know. But what happens when people divorce? They go separate ways. Yes, I said it. No, but you, if you're a kid, you're a product of the two, and you love them both. You follow both of them, and you appreciate both of them. Now, Steve, I've said this before. Steve does the solo thing. Nobody's saying, that doesn't sound anything like Journey. You know, no no uh, Journey with Steve Perry, no Steve Perry. <laughs> Is anybody saying that? Oh, but anyway, I'm having fun. Hey, but overall, though, this documentary if you like to watch rehashed things uh, that you've seen a bunch of times, you know, this is one of those documentaries. It's, it's cool. Like I said, Jeff Scott Soto, Dean Castronovo's in there. Narada's in there. Um, Eddie Trunk. I mean, it's cool. It was interesting. It ha They had interesting things to say. Like I said, they weren't as hard on Steve as they have been, except for, you know, a couple of guys I mentioned earlier. But I'm just saying... It's, you know, it's all good. But here's the thing I want you to take away from this whole thing, okay? The next time somebody wants to get uh, in a little dispute, I guess, or about, you know, singers and, and who's better in the band, always remember this. 
And you probably heard it a few times in the documentary. But you ask Steve Algieri, who was his favorite singer or one of his favorite singers, you know, when he was younger, before he joined Journey, he loved Steve Perry. Big fan. Jeff Scott Soto, big fan of Steve Perry. I mean, just absolute loves the guy, right? Arnel Pineda, he just grew up idolizing Steve. And when he met him, it was just, you know, unbelievable for him. Dean Castronovo, absolutely loved Steve Perry. Grew up listening to him and... He sings high because of Steve Perry, and it comes pretty doggone close uh, to his voice. These guys love Steve. So guess what? They're just like you, the ones that say, you know, no Steve Perry, no Jerry. And I, I get that. I totally get that. Uh, but they they say that he's the best singer ever. You know, he is the voice of Journey. They're just doing their job. And I've said this before, and I will tell you, in 1998, uh, whenever Steve left the band, and I was hoping they would, you know, get back together, but I heard a single from Journey later that year. And, you know, back then, there was no social media like it is today. And uh, you didn't, really didn't know what was going on with Journey. You know, you didn't know what they had decided. So I'm waiting for Steve Perry and Journey to kind of do something else. I didn't know he had left the band, and then suddenly there's a single from the Armageddon soundtrack, and uh, I hear the guitar, and I'm thinking, man, it's Journey. Then I hear Steve Algeri. I, I couldn't really hear it. I was at the mall, and I'm thinking, man, they're back. But see, at first, I didn't want to accept it. I'm like, that's not Steve, and I kind of got upset. I want Steve Perry. But it's like to keep the band going, you know, the band is a different entity than Steve. It's, it's a whole band. It's not just a solo artist, you know, and you could say the same thing. If Neil Sean left or Jonathan Cain, you want all those guys in that band. You want everybody that you grew up listening to in that band, but if they leave, you want to keep it going. Now, I, I don't agree how everything went down. Don't know the whole story. That's what I would have liked tonight is to hear Steve say some things. See, I like the whole story. I like everybody to have their say-so in here. But when it was all said and done, I'm just glad that Steve is still singing. You know, he's still out there. The band is still going. And, you know, that's okay with me. Because there is a band that has that same feel. It's not Steve, but it's got that same feel, that same music, musical style. And you got to hand it to Steve. You know, if, if they're going to copy the guy, they're going to get guys that sound like him. And nice guys at that. Some of the nicest people ever, you know, Steve Algieri, uh, Arnel Pineda, Jeff Scott Soto. Get these guys to do a job to keep that music going, to keep that legacy going. You got to hand it to them. You might not agree because Steve, you know, was ousted or whatever from the band. You know, a lot of people are, I don't know, they're really um, protective. But, you know, Steve, he doesn't need anybody to show up and, and, and help, <laughs> you know, help him out and say, don't do that to Steve. You know, he's, he's good. You know, he came out shining like a diamond. You know, he's okay. Regardless of what the future holds for him or Journey or whatever, you know, Steve is all right, and those guys are going to be all right. That music is forever. It's timeless. Like, you know, like Dean Castronovo was saying, that's Journey. You hear Steve Perry and Neil Sean and Jonathan Cain. That's always Journey. Regardless of who comes in, leaves, that's forever. And you got guys just trying to keep that legacy going who all agree that Steve is the voice and always will be. But the timing of this documentary just makes you think. I'm just saying. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to subscribe and subscribe to my other channel, Real Music with Gary Stuckey, also on YouTube. 
And, uh, hey, I'll be checking back in with you very soon, I'm sure. But until then, don't stop believing. God bless you.